Good morning, Anona. It's great to see you this morning for our Wednesday morning devotional. Uh, in the middle of Holy Week, we had a great Palm Sunday service last Sunday, and uh, we've got coming up, just so you know, tomorrow night, a wonderful uh, Monday Thursday experience. Uh, you can view it at 7 p.m. at live.anona.com. We also have on Friday our chapel open for prayer time, so you can stop by our chapel here, no reservation needed. Uh, to come and have a time of prayer. And then, of course, Easter Sunday, we have our 7 a.m. sunrise service and our normal morning worship services all at live.anona.com. Go to our website if you want to learn more about it. Um, but in the meantime, I want to just talk for a few moments about uh, one of my reflections this week for Holy Week. One of the things I've been reflecting on is the life and the passion of Jesus, especially in this last week leading up to his crucifixion and his resurrection there. And, and a term that's used in theology when we study Jesus is called the duality of Christ. What that means is the two parts that were Jesus. Jesus was both and is both fully human. He was born on earth. He walked this earth and lived the life of a human and died on the cross, human. And he was also fully divine. He is of God. We call homoousius there, of the same substance, one being with the Father. We say all that all the time in our um, affirmations of faith that we lift up, especially in the Nicene Creed. But one of the scriptures I think that really helps me as I wrestle with the humanity and divinity of Jesus is found in Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 8. And I want to share that with you uh, today for a devotion. It says this. It says, Let the same mind be in you that was in Jesus Christ, who though he was in the form of God, being fully divine, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born into human likeness, and being found in human form, fully human, and humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Fully human and fully divine. Now it's very important in this passage Jesus did not empty himself of his divinity. Okay? He didn't pour out his divinity. He was always and is always fully human and fully divine. When we talk about the emptying here, what we call kenosis, that's the emptying literally of the privileges of divinity, the, the things of being fully divine that he chose not to take here on earth. He chose to take the form of a slave, choosing to live within the bounds and the challenges and the limitations of being human, including, as says, even up to death on the cross, as he taught others around him about his message of both love, but also of humility. Jesus was the example of humility for you and for me. And one of the songs I think that expresses that duality of Jesus so beautifully is a song called Christus Paradox. Uh, it wrestles with both the human and divine natures of Jesus and the contrasts in the same person there. Uh, some of the, 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 the lyrics of the text just really stand out. That last verse especially, it says, Worthy is our earthly Jesus. Worthy is our cosmic Christ. Worthy your defeat and victory. Worthy still your peace and your strife. And I have a recording uh, attached to this that's from our Anona Sanctuary Choir singing uh, this arrangement of Christus Paradox by Alfred uh, Fadak. I hope you enjoy for your Holy Week meditation. And my prayer for you this week is this, that for this Holy Week and beyond, that you and I might seek the mind of Christ within us, to be in touch with the divine side within us, the, the work of the Holy Spirit in you and in me, in touch with our own spirit, as we seek to live a life of love and a life of humility. So until we meet again, May God hold you in the palm of God's hand.